I'm really happy to be here to support Nicole and the French Riviera Film Festival and Jonathan Baker and the magazine. And I'm especially excited though because Warren Beatty and Annette Benning are uh, personal friends. I've grown up knowing them and looked up to Warren and his work and Annette. So I'm happy to be at their former uh, mansion and um, I'm just really happy for all the reasons but very much to see it since Jonathan um, bought it and has taken it over, you know. And I'm just happy to celebrate the 95th uh, anniversary of the Oscars, even though it's been kind of an interesting, controversial year, you know, and coming off of some controversy last year, and then here we are this year, but I'm happy to be here. But this year there was a lot of controversy, too, about the um, nominations, because we gave Till the Stanley Kramer Award at the Producers Guild, and I was really hoping for Danielle Deadweiler to at least be nominated for her performance and the Andrea Riseborough controversy with the grassroots, which I'm, I'm, you know, I've been involved with grassroots campaigning myself, so I'm for that, but I just feel that in a way it was, it was unfortunate that it knocked Danielle out of the race and that she kind of took that slot, so. First time nominees, who's your favorite? I like all of them. I, I do like the Banshees of Inna Sharon. I love Colin Farrell and, and that whole story. But I'm really rooting for Elvis and Austin Butler, not just because it was so hard, you know, for him to pull off. I mean, he actually became Elvis, but because I know, you know, all the things that they went through making the film and the Lisa Marie passing away, and I know the producers of the film, and um, I just thought it was extraordinary. And I personally have known Brendan Fraser because he was a student in my mother's drama program up in Seattle, Washington, and he actually grew up up there part of the time, and she's the one that sort of discovered him and said, you know, put him into her, because the instructors were unsure because he'd had no experience, and she sensed something in him and I know his performance is extraordinary so I'd be hoping for him too you know maybe it'll be a tie so I can't really say I have a favorite but you know Austin Butler would be a I think more of a who I think really deserves it 